Now see, today we will start chapter number 4 and that is trigonometric function, chapter number 4. Now what is trigonometry? Trigonometry means trigonometry. Tri means three. Gone means side. Metry matlab measure. Three sided measure matlab triangle. So subject deals with the study of triangle, we call it as a trigonometry. Subject deals with the study of triangle is called trigonometry. Up to 10 standard trigonometry you have studied with the help of right angle triangle. But now you are going to learn trigonometry in detail. Trigonometry now you are going to learn with the help of unit circle. Unit circle is a very, very, very important concept of trigonometry. Without unit circle, you are not supposed to learn trigonometry. Every concept, every formula, every information, you can get it from unit circle. It's a very important concept of trigonometry. Unit circle, it is a circle. The center at origin and radius one unit. Children, Define unit circle like this. A unit circle is a circle with radius 1 unit. Wrong. You must write down center at origin. Let us draw a unit circle. In X O Y plane. Two axes you know they intersect, they meet at this is x axis, this is y axis. Right? And they meet at origin. Now let us draw a unit circle. This is a unit circle. It intersect x axis at two points, A and A dash. And y axis at two point B and B x. The coordinates of A are one zero, A x are minus one zero. Because they are point on x axis. Coordinates of B are zero one and B x are zero minus one. And this O is origin. Now for every theta belongs to R, you take theta belongs to R. Right? There exists a unique point P theta on unit circle. Such that angle P O X is theta. For every theta belongs to R, there exists a point, unique point P theta called trigonometric point. For every theta belongs to R, there exists unique point P theta on the unit circle. Called trigonometric point. Point. Now, let the coordinates of P theta are of P theta are x, y. So, 
So this is x y. Right? Every point p theta, let the coordinates of p theta are x y. So, for every theta belongs to y. Theta can be negative or theta can be positive or theta can be zero. So point A corresponds theta is zero. This is an initial point. Okay. When we move in anti-clockwise direction, the angle we refer is called positive. And if rotation is in anti-clockwise direction, the angle we refer is called refer is called negative angle. So for every theta belongs to R, मतलब theta can be zero, theta can be positive, or theta can be negative. For every theta, we have a unique point, p theta in a circle. That point is called trigonometric point. So any function f from theta to p theta, what we call this function is called? Any function f from theta to p theta is called. Trigonometric point function. Now I want to define six trigonometric functions: sine, cos, tan, cot, cosec, and sec. Sine and cos I will define from unit circle, and tan, cot, cosec, and sec we define in terms of sine and cos. So, f is a function from theta to p theta, and suppose I take g is a function from p theta to y, and h is a function from p theta to x. Then a composite function g o f is a function from theta to y. For every theta belongs to R, there exists unique y coordinate of trigonometric point p theta. So this g o f is a called composite function of g n f, and this function is also called sine function. Sine is a composite function of g o n f, and for every theta belongs. To R, there exists unique y coordinate of trigger point p theta, and I can define sine theta as y. Sine is a name of function. Theta is an element. We are operating with sine. Similarly, cosine is a composite function of h and f. H and f is a function from theta to x. So cosine is a function which associates every theta belongs to R to the unique x coordinate of trigger point p theta, and I define cos theta is y. Cos theta is x. Sorry. In ten standard, we used to define sine theta is y by R, and cos theta is x by R. R is here one because If I construct right hand triangle from P, P M perpendicular to O X, then P M is Y and O M is X, and O P is R. But here R is one, and that is why cos theta is X by R is going to become X, and sine theta is Y by R is going to become Y. So I define sine theta and cos theta. Now onwards, I will define sine theta is y, cos theta is x. Now you know very well that tan theta is defined as sine theta by cos theta, providing cos theta is not zero. If cos theta is zero, then tan theta is not defined. Similarly, cot theta. Is one upon ten theta. It is defined as cos theta by sine theta, providing sine theta is not zero. 
cot theta is defined under condition sin theta is not zero. Cos sec theta is one by sin theta, providing sin theta is not zero. Sec theta is defined as one by cos theta, right? Providing cos theta is not zero. So condition for existence of tan and sec are same. And condition for the existence of cot and cosec are same. So in future when we discuss about domain of function, domain of these two function tan and sec are same. And domain of these two function cot and cosec are same. Same way domain of sin and cos are also same. Because sin is also defined for every theta belongs to R. Cos is also defined for every theta belongs to R. So I can say domain of sin and domain of cos are also same. And that is equal to set of real number. Because for every theta belongs to R there exists unique y coordinate of trigo point P theta. So every theta belongs to R as are associated with a unique Y of P theta. So domain of sin and cos are same, domain of tan and sec are same, and domain of cot and cosec are same. With the help of domain of sin and cos I can find out domain of tan, cot, cosec and sec. How? That I will show you later on. Now, from this discussion, I can have four concepts, four important objective questions I can form from my above discussion. Number one. First is, any function f from theta to p theta is called trigo point function. This is the first objective. Second objective you can form is if rotation is in clock anti-clockwise direction. Rotation is in anti-clockwise direction. The angle we refer, we refer, is called dash. What is dash? Positive angle. And third objective, if rotation is in clockwise direction, The angle we refer is called negative angle. You got this three objective. And fourth is the range of trigonometric point function. Trigonometry full stop point PT function. What is trigonometric point function? It is from theta to p theta. So range of trigo point function contain set p theta. And th set p theta are always in form of order pair. Usually when a uh, Teacher asks this question, range of trigo point function, so sometimes children will say R, sometimes children will say minus 1 to 1, close interval, sometimes children will say line, everything wrong. 
the range of trigger point function is set of all p theta such that theta belongs to r. So all point p theta are on what unit circle? So what is range of trigger point function? Range of trigger point function is dash to so unit circle. See, I discuss only unit circle and I discuss sine and cosine function. From this discussion, I obtain four important objective questions of one one mark. Clear? Are you clear about what is unit circle, what is trigo point, what is trigo point function, what is sine function, what is cosine function, what is tan, cot, cosec and sec function. All six are called trigonometric function or trigonometric ratios. You can also call them as ratios. Now we will start another concept.